So today we're gonna to be learning how to do deep, relaxed yogic breathing. Um, our lungs and our muscles are the two parts of our bodies that we can voluntarily control to trigger our relaxation response. So hopefully you saw our video on progressive muscle relaxation, which teaches you how to tense and release the muscles to achieve a deeper state of relaxation. So for deep breathing, what do we do when somebody tells us to take a deep breath when we're feeling really stressed out? <sighs> right, it's this really deep breath through the chest. And that's actually a very shallow and ineffective way of breathing. It will actually trigger some more anxiety, more stress. Um, so what we wanna do is learn how to breathe out of our bellies. So if you ever go to a hospital and you see a baby in an incubator, you see that baby's belly going in and out, but their chest stays still. That's what we want to mimic. Um, when we breathe in and expand the belly, what it does is it allows something behind the stomach called the diaphragm to contract, which then allows our lungs to maximally expand. Then when we breathe out and we contract the belly, the diaphragm then expands and our lungs contract. Um, this allows us to get an optimal exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen. Um, the more oxygen that we can get in our lungs, the more we are able to trigger that relaxation response, allowing the oxygen to kind of penetrate and nourish the body. So to practice, we'll put one hand on our chest and one hand on our belly. And what we wanna do is we want that hand on our chest to stay still and the hand on the belly to expand and contract as we breathe. So when we breathe in, in through the nose, our belly is gonna expand like a balloon and out through the mouth, the belly contracts and that hand on our chest stays still. So we'll try that a couple more times in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, really focusing our attention on the belly expanding and contracting. It can feel a little awkward and uncomfortable when we first start belly breathing. Um, it almost seems counterintuitive to what we, we typically do. Um, so just a note that you may feel a little increased anxiety when you do start deep belly breathing. Um, but the more that you practice, the easier it becomes and um, the more automatic it can become when we're feeling stressed out and want to trigger that relaxation response. The second part of breathing um, is that when we breathe in, what we're doing is we're activating something called the sympathetic nervous system. This is our fight or flight response. Essentially, it increases our heart rate, it prepares our bodies to fight or flee. When we breathe out, what we're doing is we're activating our rest and digest system, which is the parasympathetic nervous system. This slows the heart rate down, it slows the body down, and it allows us to really um, trigger our own relaxation response. So it only makes sense that if you breathe out a little bit longer than you breathe in, we'll be activating that rest and digest relaxation response. So if we practice that again, putting one hand on our chest and one hand on our belly. We're gonna breathe in through the nose, expanding the belly. And now when we breathe out, we're gonna to try to lengthen that exhale. Breathing out a little bit longer than we breathed in. So continuing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Really focusing on lengthening that exhale. The last piece of breathing is our methodical exhale. So the way I like to teach exhaling is imagine that you are blowing on a candle um, and you're, you're blowing on that flame and that flame is flickering but not going out. So it's a very slow and soft This allows us to bring our attention to our breath. Um, it really brings our mind and body into the present moment, which is a key part of relaxation. When we focus on that gentle exhale, we're really um, taking a hold of our normal pace of breathing and slowing things down, um, actively and voluntarily slowing things down. <laughs>